Warren State University is a wonderful regional comprehensive university. We've worked really hard to make sure that we're representative of the people that we're here to serve in terms of diversity and inclusiveness. And so people come to us from all walks of life, ages and stages, sexual orientation, religious beliefs, all of that. And we accept people for who they are. And we've worked hard to include them in our university. As an educational institution, we learn a lot from one another when we interact with people that are different from ourselves. Because the truth of the matter is, in our neighborhoods, in our home communities, there are people with differences there as well. So I think it's really uh, important for us to do that. With respect to this uh, situation, uh, particular situation, the Supreme Court of the United States has, uh, has declared, on behalf of all of us as citizens, that same-sex marriage is permissible. Right? It is now the law of the land. The governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky issued a statement right from the start saying the clerks must obey the law, and uh, that was affirmed uh, through federal uh, district courts and then reaffirmed by the Supreme Court when they elected not to hear the appeal. So the law of the land is established, and my position on this has been it is the law, and I believe that all of us, that are all of, all of the individuals that are elected, elected public uh, Officials must uphold the law. We cannot pick and choose. In a democracy, you don't pick and choose, you obey the law. And if a person chooses not to do that, then there are consequences. I think it's very unfortunate there's been so much national attention on this issue that makes Moorhead State University and the community appear as though we're at odds, and I don't believe that's the case. I believe that we, we as a university, are deeply ingrained into our community. We work well with our citizens. We have a fine relationship with the, with the folks in city government and county government. We have common ideals in terms of what we want for people. And this has brought out uh, smaller elements in society that have made it appear as though we're very significantly divided. The issue itself can be a divisive issue. And I think what we're seeing, though, is it's been inflamed by people not necessarily from our community, but from the spotlight that's come in from the outside. And so what my hope is and my expectation is that we get past this, we'll come back together as a community, and we'll reaffirm the fact that we believe in liberty and justice for all, and we want to work together and celebrate what we have in common and recognize where we have differences and perhaps differences of uh, belief that we still rep that we still are okay with that in a community, and that we're not going to be at odds with.